What's going on, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. Got some more rab in the house for you today, guys. We are on season three, episode five, baby. Uh, this one is called Right, guys. So um, stay tuned. About to pop it. Get your snacks. Get your, you know, your cookies or whatever, your biscuits, everything. Get all your stuff ready to go because we're about to do this, guys. So you're going to see the display cap pop it up. Um, after that, we'll get the uh, video rolling. So let's get it, guys. And do. And that, uh, all right. Right. Some men are born to local counseling, others of local counseling thrust upon them. But the great ones thrust it off again and become MPs. Well, goodbye, dear. I shall be attending a subcommittee tonight to consider the question whether the sodium streetlight. Say goodnight to Norman and Douglas for me. I named them after cabinet ministers, you know. I know. I know. The anonymous ones. Even when Margaret was in full bloom, I never lost the faith. I knew that one day the wheel would turn and that we, the mundane ones, would return to seize the day. And so it proved. Look at John Major. Look at me. Say it loud. I am nondescript and I am proud. Cheery by the now, dear. Damn! Damn! Yes, you have achieved much, Sandy McKean. A house with garden furniture and a family to sit on it, and your very own gravel path. Truly, a man could be happy here. But Who is this man? You said it. No, you're much too restless and questing for mere happiness. You won't be satisfied till all peoples of all hues are as nondescript as you are. Next door still for sale. Thank God for the recession. It keeps a safe distance between the oily classes and the river farm estate. Is this the dream house? Two feet, you know, two pieces of furniture and some gravel? We must never forget. Anarchy is but a step away. Who is this man? For a society must have order. Order means wealth. Oh! <laughs> 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 Sing happy birthday to him while whooping his ass. This is police brutality. Oh, <laughs> not nice of them. <laughs> oh, shit, Raph, that's brutality. See, this is how you get in life. We flan last jumped up and everybody's sitting behind a desk trying to make you sweat in your stool. And see when you do, you can feel that wind up key take another twist in your back. So, Nesbitt, this is your lucky day. It's not another surprise party, is it? <laughs> it's a wheelchair next to an iron lung. Christ, you're spoiling me. The wheelchair was your own doing, Nesbitt. If you hadn't assaulted the prison psychiatrist, my officers wouldn't have had to use necessary force. Necessary force? I necessary to liberate Bosnia, quell an urban riot. But to pull one govern numpty off a, an ordinary Freudian psychiatrist, because you should have just had gentlemen ask me about if I was breastfed. I'd have finished up a jibber and right in the corner. Those children are breastfed. I certainly was. No, but their fears, though, eh? I tell you, it's a terrible thing inbreeding amongst the lower orders. Take your hand off the governor's hand. He's already spoken for. Ooh. Tomorrow is your release date. 
You'll walk out of here a free man. Objection. What? A limp out of here. And how the hell can be a free man? Hey, when I'm, when I'm no job, no dosh, no prospects, and no bloody fags. But you've got something more important than any of these, Nesbitt. What's that? Your self-respect. Well, I tell him, or will you? <laughs> you have two children, don't you, Nesbitt? I don't want a bad description, eh? Do you really want them growing up to share your lifestyle? In and out of prison? Impotent? Feckless? Poor? Why should I impotent? Speaking figuratively, Nesbitt. If you're dissatisfied, you can never hope to change matters from outside the system, bellowing your rage against unfeeling bureaucracy. So much more can be achieved with persuasion instead of confrontation. I see. Persuasion, eh? You're a man alone, Nesbitt. One man can achieve nothing. Join the system, and we give you the cigarette. <gasps> Cause trouble. And we give you the wheelchair. If I were you, I'd try and remember that. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You may go. Yes, sir. Thanks very much, sir. Bye bye. See this? <laughs> British drive in movie. <laughs> in Sierra and a stolen portable telly. Eh? Just a thing for scum we at you, you know? We are not scum, we are the underclass. Dude, that is the best drive in movie I've ever seen. Shit, I want one now. There is a difference. Aye, scum's old fashioned. In LA, we get called the underclass and we want to move with the times. Mm. Yeah. Where else but in Govan would it be promotion to be called the underclass? <laughs> hey, that sounds like common sense, Nesbitt. Funny check my pulse. Oh, get you. What sort of swag in the tree, anyway? My new ranger, pub grub. Ethnic delicacies fair around the globe. Samosa, onion badges, pecoras. Yeah. Try one. Whoa. You know, you're trouble, Rap. You've been in jail too long. The world's changed. And you can shut your yapping off. Because you can't see it, can you? You can't see it. You know who christened you lot the underclass, eh? Eh? The same sinister bastards that changed one scale to Sellerfield. Oh, I know I quit Call us, call us by a nice user-friendly name. Bump us into a filing cabinet under anti-social phenomena, social class DC4. Because I'll tell you this, boy, see when you get right noon to it, they're nothing but a lot of jumped-up fascist bastards. I mind the mahogany. There's no need for violence. I'm scum. I'm allowed to do violence. It's in the contract. <laughs> Guys, still to this day, I'll tell you this, boy, is one of my favorite lines that he does so well. He does it so good. We're very underclass, right? With us, it's mindless violence only. It's like healthy violence. Violence should be strictly non-political. Aye. Let's keep politics out of sport. Right. right well, I'll tell you, I'm not, I'm not going to get wound up about this. Because see me? See me? I am Mr. Mel. Join the society, you get a cigarette. So just you keep believing that, ya, ya losers. <laughs> <laughs> What's life if you can't laugh at yourself, eh? <laughs> On catch you. Tell him, Rob. Honey, I'm home. Tease it. <laughs> Is that it? Is that what I get after six months in the jug? You'll tease it. Hey, you know, I'm in the bosom of my family. Look, here's the bloody bosom. Where's the bloody family? You want to put that tit away? You're giving me the bulk. Yeah. Shit, you little swine, yeah. Watch. Touch me, and you're gone in a list. List? A list? The hit list for ethnic purity. There's too many wrong elements corrupt in our society. What's the matter with him? Hey, you just joined the young conservatives or something? <laughs> Your son's a wee racist bigot. That's what's the matter with him. He's a neo-Nazi. Why, that? 
It's a hell of a stretch of the imagination to imagine that as a tall, blonde, Aryan god. <laughs> That's it. You're in a book. But what book? What are you at? That's such a reading. Forward with Britain. Aye. Uh, it's a kind of companion piece to backwards with govern and sideways with the noon. <laughs> <laughs> Go count your eyeballs, waster. Listen, you hear me, boy. The only way this book is going to turn you into a tall Aryan god is if you stand in the bloody thing. <laughs> <laughs> laugh, go on. Bloody laugh. Oh, see this book? This book was wrote for blokes like me. See, six months ago, I was a vandal. But now, I'm an active patriot. Zeke, hail! <laughs> Kerti, go on, Kerti. Good step, is it? Good step. Get your ass out that door before I stick my toe up your wishbone. Go on, get. Ah. You see that? You see that? You a little swine. You see what happens when I leave you to look after the wings, eh? Standards fall like drunks and bust Standards? You were in the bloody jail. Can I help that if I'm a career man? Sometimes I need to spend time away from my family so as I can keep you, you know, in the, in the manner you have become accustomed to. Oh, shut up, meet your spam. Who the hell are you going at? Oh, more. Here, ice cream van. Can I get something for it? Aye, all right. Take it with my purse. Ice cream! Oh, okay, see, it's nice to see there's one happy bastard in the house. <laughs> she must have done something right, eh, Mary Doll? You think so? Oh, gosh, how many fingers am I holding up? Eh, Thursday. <laughs> Thursday? You know what I mean? Ice cream! See this? See this? I'll tell you one thing about Gubbin. At least we're up front about our drugs problem. Take a swatch. All <laughs> right, you young scallywag, what can I get you? The usual, is it? Aye. Neapolitan, please, Gramps. Up and down and mix with a sprinkling of crust nebutal, right? Oh, I'm all out of Nembutal, son. Oh, but see this shoe? I could crush you up one of my angina tablets in raspberry sauce. Would you like that? <laughs> and oh, seeing it as you, I could crush your lovable old nose one with my forehead. Would you like that? Ah, oh, it's not my fault, Biggin. I'm a victim to Then this tin pays for my electric bills. Come on, you. Question, guys. I don't know if some of you guys watched. It was a long time ago, but we watched it when we watched the uh, the Beniston. Um, there was like an ice cream sketch. Is this the same type of ice cream trucks that carry uh pretty much everything like toilet paper and everything like that besides ice cream and candy? Um, or or just maybe just ice cream candy, not real like toiletries and stuff like that. Uh, um, just just quick question that popped up in the head. They one of the country's phone didn't doing about ears. You're good. I blame the grandparents. And I blame the parents. Ah, you said, you said. And I blame mm. you and me, Rav. What kind of role models have we been, eh? What do you mean? What do you mean? God, I've never had a drug near my gub and my puff. You take a swatch up the nostrils, all you'll see is Qatar and old Holborn. Some of the people got a mutton pie. Bitch, I'm an honest to goodness alcoholic. And, and what bloody thanks you get, eh? A junky bloody son. Rav, things have changed since you've been in the jail. I mean, drugs are just a symptom, not the cause. Oh, tears more. Does that mean I can get tabbed out my skull? <laughs> no, it's bloody well, doesn't it? Here, you can have a can of iron brewing like it. Go on. Rob, only we'll need to do something. I mean, I'm at my wit's end here. Well, don't look at me. I have enough on my plate. I have an attitude problem to maintain. I'm a waster. Rob, things are desperate. See for yourself. <laughs> Please. That's the brew, baby. For their sake, we'll need to do something. All right. All right. There is only one thing for it. The scum equivalent of ritual Harry Carry. Rob, you're not going to top yourself. What's the matter, Mary? I'm going to turn respectable. <laughs> Jeez, a job! A job!
Oh, jeez. Respectable, is it? You're said and done. I mean, take a look, take a look. Bottom of the heap, 90s style, eh? Potted plants and music. That shows you'll maybe no notice you've been offered a cleaning job at 190 an hour plus fizz. So, Mr uh, Nesbitt, what sort of job are you looking for? Classical composer. I've been hanging about in here listening to Mozart that long. I think I've got hanging been here. There are lots of people looking for work, Mr Nesbitt. There's a recession on. Try to be patient. Patient? Patient? Don't you talk to me about patient, boy. Good God, I've got one son a junkie. The other one's about to open the governed branch of the Fourth Reich. And a wife with nerves stretched that tight. Cause she could cross him on a unicycle. So don't you tell me to be patient. Look, will you please calm yourself? All right, all right. I'm calm, I'm calm. That's better. Now, you've had a look at what's available. Have you written down the numbers of any of the jobs that interest you? Yes. A, uh, one, one, four, five. A, uh, one, one, four, five. Ah, the toilet cleaner. No experience necessary. One ninety an hour plus FIS. Are you a regular you boy, Jim Balcocci? I don't want the whole gaff knowing my business. Well, how about it? Well, I'm afraid that vacancy's been filled, Mr Nesbitt. How yeah, about uh, B21547? Ah, that too. A1025. Sorry. 1026. <laughs> no luck. Look, pal. I am desperate. Have you got nothing to offer me in the way I work? Well, I could put your name down on the waiting list for restart. What is? A paper hanger. What do you mean? Well, let's face it. I'd get plenty of bloody practice in here, wouldn't I? Hey, because I'll tell you, she would. No, no one of these bloody jobs exists, do they? Because you just stick them up there to take the bear look off the walls. Jobs, I got jobs. I'll tell you this, boy. There's only one bloody job I want in here. And that's your job. Because by where I'm standing, you're getting paid good money for he bloody horse. So I think you better just leave this. Burn you! Wow! You telegram! God damn it! Stop you! All problems are problems of communication, Mrs. Um, um, but as in politics, so in life. Consider Serbia. Consider the sodium streetlight and what you will find I submit. Come back here. <laughs> Name of goodness, what's all that stushy down there? No <laughs> but you mustn't lose heart, Sandy McKean. After all, you're in the vanguard, the only Conservative councillor in South Govan. What was it the Under Secretary of State called it? The drip, drip, drip effect. You, Sandy, he said to me with his own mouth, using words. You are a drip. <laughs> this man. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mrs. Um, Nesbitt. You were saying about the trouble with. Society. Hi, I will. It's just oh, see me, see Tom. Well, I'm no, I'm no. Oh, what's the word? Articulate. Hi, I will. Maybe I don't have the words, councillor, but I know that something's turned pure red rank rotten in this country. I feel it doing here, doing here in my guts. Goodness. You might be living in a pressure cooker, but restraint costs nothing. How do you mean, Mrs Nesbitt? Well, this isn't govern anymore. This isn't the governor I remember. Oh, evolution can be a painful process, Mrs Nesbitt, but we can't afford to wallow in nostalgia. Excuse me, but I'm not the one with the royal wedding mug and the copies of Homes and Gardens, am I? I can't afford to be nostalgic. I want something done about it. About what? About everything. I mean, look at us. Look at the Nesbits. We used to be the govern equivalent of the Waltons. No, look at <laughs> one boy in drugs. The other one's a right-wing racist bigot. Oh, 
me offence. My man's just out of the jail and onto the door. I'm skint. My shoes are stuffed full of tabloid pictures of Fergie's tits just to keep the rain out. And I've still only got one on on my message bag as well, which is only a minor inconvenience because I can't afford any bloody messages. And another thing, I'll tell you this, boy. You wouldn't believe what we've got to go through every day. You try going and getting a crisis loan after the brew. You try going and getting shoes Look, for your rain. Mrs Nisbet, I understand your dilemma. Oh, shit. Try and take the Olympian view. We are in the grip of a worldwide recession. As the old industries die, so the new ones come along and take their place. But this cannot be achieved overnight. True growth... Shut up! You try taking the Olympian view when your ass is in the grubber, cos that's where I've been all my life. <laughs> well, that should sound like a, like an asteroids, Pac-Man, some sort of old school sound effect like that. I love it. Oh, there we go. Hi, all right. Uh, I see you haven't quite cracked a respectability yet, then, eh? Oi! You licked your bastard! Take that, you swine! Oh. Oh. <laughs> the acts of violence and the brutal expressions of racial hatred are seen as the work of a minority. Worryingly, far-right political parties like the Deutsche Volksunion, although not condoning violence, are harnessing the support of those who perceive that foreign immigrants are being treated better than they are. Hmm. There you are, Adolf. Does that make you feel better? So what? It's the ain't country, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with me but ethnic cleansing. Like ethnic cleansing? Who can you sit there with turnips in your ears and picking one at your ass and talk to me about cleansing? <laughs> Find your wife runs more than once in a fortnight and then talk to me about cleansing, boy. And he's getting dickies in his head again, too. It's not my fault. There's no gentian violet left. I know. Because strawberry fields here keeps drinking it. <laughs> gentian violet? I thought you were a junkie. Well, I like to diversify, you know, stretch myself. I, I, I'm the Renaissance man of self-abuse. Yeah. Just take a look at his bed sheets. They're like a wallpaper of overalls. Aye, well, at least it's only my selling, Herman. Eh? I don't go putting the boot on the innocent people. OK, only because you can't get your foot out your arse quick enough. Oh, you bloody think so. I need to so I just Right! Hats up, hats up! Hats up, hats up, hats up, hats up, what are you like? I'm sick of you. Cause I, I, I come in here after a, a hard stretch in the jail. And what do you find? What do you find? Hey, turmoil. Anarchy. Anarchy's everywhere. It's the way of the world. Ah, well, I'm not responsible for the world. But I am responsible for this house. And for new own, things is going to be done to my orders. Oh, aye. Well, in case it's escaped your attention, we live in a council house in the crisis loan estate. David Attenborough's got Mary an idea of your natural habitat and the corporation maintenance man. The roof's leaking, the lobby's blocked, and we've got more bare wires than the men of Texas. What's <laughs> your master plan, then, eh? Master plan, eh? Master plan? I'll give you master plan. You see that? You see that, everyone is sleep? What is freedom. Work is freedom. So, you want to be a Nazi kid? Well, fascism starts right here. So it's a yellow star for you, and it's a pink triangle for you. From now on, from now on, it is Benito Nes. Block drains, is it, lady? Block drains. Don't you worry about that. Because, see me, I have got the perfect tool for getting right round the tricky you bent. What's that? Adolf Snap! I may be a tyrant, but at least the drains are running tight. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> See, that's one thing about Scotland, boys. They can say what they like, but there's no racism in our country, is there? Ah, oh, that's correct. Yeah. And if there is, we just sweep it under the carpet, because that's a healthy thing to do, isn't it? You're just being satirical, Cap. 
us jocks is renowned for our warmth. We will give a friendly welcome to any foreign bastard. Right, <laughs> Fergie? Oh, talking about dumb animals, Rabbi. How are the two boys? I hear you've been laying down the law to them. Aye, you bloody right, I have, aye. I'm keeping the bugger in a tight rein. Aye, right, right, you. Aye. Eh? Aye, you're right, there, da. It's no slitting the leash where you're about it. Eh? Aye, bloody right, aye. <laughs> Jesus. Is this where they got the leashes for the kids, man? I saw, I used to see a trend. I don't know, maybe about like 10 years ago where parents would have their kids like, they're almost like on a leash and shit so that they don't run away. Maybe they got the idea from Rab. Uh, you'd better bloody believe it. Can you see, that's what's fine with him and his brother. No, enough bloody discipline. Rab, see when we were young, there was nothing but discipline. In fact, it is discipline that has made us what we are today. Alcoholics? Exactly. <laughs> if it wasn't for discipline, Rab and I couldn't drink half of what we're drinking today. Am I right, Rab? I bloody right, but try telling Fantasia that, you. Because you didn't know what day it is. Good God, James, yeah, I can remember. I can remember when a Scottish education was the finest in the country. But see, this, he, knew, see he, didn't, he didn't even know the bloody alphabet. The only letter he knows is E. Come on, down, down. God, I'll tell you something, James. I must have been on a low fiber diet the night he spurted from between my tummy. <laughs> it's not his fault, Rob. It's the way of the world. I mean, I wouldn't want to be young nowadays. Aye, it's a curse, Sandra. <laughs> my father believed in discipline. <laughs> but I'll say this for him he always knew where to draw the line. <gasps> where did he draw the line, Jerry? Murder. Oh. He lamped my brother Tommy out of heat with a frying pan for picking all the sugar granules off a Paris bun and replacing them with air gun pellets. <laughs> and I'll tell you this, Tommy might have ended up in a shallow grave in the Elder Park, but he never did it again. <laughs> so it never did him any hair on the end, eh? Yeah. Thanks very much for sharing that with the group, Doddy. Oh, shit. Oh! Where's Nesbitt? Any of you seen Nesbitt? This guy's always getting in trouble. All right, all right, I'll come quietly. See this? This is nothing but victimization. I am being picked on for my subversive beliefs. Stop your jibbering, we don't want you. You know what? Job Centre Clark refused to press charges, but don't worry. You've a long way to go afore we make you into a martyr. Oh, that's a pity, because I quite fancied myself as Ravavak. <laughs> You'll never mind. A free man. <laughs> Wait till I tell the wife. On the know. other hand, not everybody in authority is as sympathetic as the Department of Employment. Ha <laughs> bless them. You mean somebody did press charges? Who? Of course there are those who will say I am bringing this charge solely for reasons of cheap personal publicity. Uh, that's Mickey with a small c. But I want to assure all your listeners on Radio Govan that my good lady is right behind me in this. She is like a rock, aren't you, dear? Yes. As, of course, are my equally dear children. Violence must never be seen to succeed. There may be imperfections in our society, but to paraphrase the late King Edward, not only must something be done, but occasionally someone too. This bitch. Tell me what happened. Another triumph of government diplomacy, eh? <laughs> Don't you even joke about it. I'm pure mortified, so I am. Take a long time to lift this down. This is... Rob, you don't forget to take my tummy wash in the stairs, will you? Oh, no, my God, Mary Doll. Typical working class attitude, eh? Doesn't mind being called an urban terrorist, but doesn't want the neighbours to think she keeps a dirty hoose. Not only do I wish to see moral standards maintained in Govan, I wish to see them stri... This bitch. Oh, no. It can't be. Govan! All right, got some. Left or three. One, two, three, go! Freedom! <laughs> you stop! 
Do it. Do it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now is that no, I won't be having fun smoking me dope cigarette things, eh? Aye. I'll never touch another drug. Exactly. I'm on the way up the pub with your dad and get blitters. Oh, oh, no! Hey, oh, hey, Rishida! Oh, hey, you have got to be strange. You got that. Don't you mess with Govan, damn it. Oh, man, what a great episode, guys. Hold on, let's get the display capture off. Bam. Um, What a great episode, guys. I'll tell you this much, boy. This was a freaking great episode, guys. Uh... Honestly, season three is really strong season. Um, it's it's definitely up the notch for me. Um, I like that the missus says the same thing too. You know, I'll tell you this, boy. I love that line, guys. It gets better and better every time that I hear it. Um, just one thing that I'd say that I really like about Rab is just when he gets freaking pissed off. He does it so damn good. You know, it's like shaking and shit. Oh my God. I love that shit. So when he got mad at the guy at the job center, um, that was hilarious. And then to see that the missus also did that, that was, uh, that was class. That was freaking awesome. So I, I just, they're just a great family. They perfect fit for it. Um, the small details that happen in a lot of times too, like when Rab is talking and then there's like an emphasis on his face and it just goes in more and then he's talking and he's dropping his knowledge. Those little small parts are great. Um, seeing the boy on the freaking college just made me uh, laugh a little bit because, man, there was a trend back in uh, in New York City. I don't know if there was other places that did it too, but you would just see like kids on a leash. It was like the craziest thing ever. It was about maybe about 10 years ago or something that was really happening. Kids uh, walking into the park with the parents and the parents would just you know, have them maybe, I don't know, four feet on a leash and shit. I just thought that shit was the, the craziest shit possible because I definitely didn't grow up with that type of um, thing. Uh, we definitely grew up with a lot of structure and a lot of discipline, the way Rap was talking a little bit. Um, yeah, you get our ass kicked. If you did bad, you would learn very quickly that that's not something to do. Um, so a fantastic episode hits home. But um, yeah, Rab right now, this season hasn't disappointed. I've grown to love the characters. I hope um, you guys uh, love the characters just as much as I'm learning and, and, and loving them. But uh, fantastic episode overall, guys. Again, give your best parts, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. Um, you know, the support is greatly appreciated, guys. Um, never forget that. Truly appreciate you guys. Um, I ain't going to never stop saying it, guys. So get used to that. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all you guys do. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Leave your thoughts below, guys. Um, and we look forward to reading them and um, responding. See you soon. Peace and love, my dudes. Peace.